tidak kira daripada dari pahaman politik mana dan itulah yang saya amat uh, mendapat uh, pelaman yang begitu uh, uh, besar sebab kita ada golongan sosialis saudara Sanusi, saudara Halim Ali, arwah Ustaz, arwah Dahlan ini semua ini orang yang begitu semangat dari segi sosialisme um, tapi miripnya bukan sini sosialis Melayu lah bukan dan ibnahnya adalah yang pro kerajaan pada waktu itu ya, untuk sekali Yusuf Noor itu tak mesti sekali <laughs> dan ada pula kita dari golongan daripada parti Islam Malaysia PAS yang kubu PAS memang di UK dan saya ni kalau dia, dia tengok dia Kelantan nak ni PAS dan gitulah tapi satu yang saya masih ingat pada waktu perancangan UKM dulu waktu GPPA ni yang masih ingat kita teringat bahawa eh UKM ni tidak ada fasa PAS sebenarnya dan itulah waktu yang Tuan Sri Tuan Sri memikirkan suatu ayat yang memberikan nafas dan roh, roh kepada UKM yang, yang digunakan sehingga sekarang dan mungkin kita harus fikir kalau kita fikir semula banyak universiti sekarang tidak ada roh we just simply produce characters but really universiti do not have the real character Baiklah, saya cuba memikirkan sebenarnya apa yang nak cakap pada lagi ini Cuba malah pada kumpulan pagi tadi Saya fikir apakah tajuk yang harus saya harus berikan kepada uh, pagi ini Kutelintas, saya rasa mungkin challenges of academic leadership And uh, the subtitle, something like uh, some, defining, some defining moments I'm referring to myself obviously Cerita ini beginning of the story, if I can tell you It was an ordinary Friday uh, Um, I came back from work. I was then the uh, PNC of uh, UKM. I came back one Friday, it was something about in 1992 in September. I came back home, I was uh, quite tired. And, uh, I came back late, about 5.30. So I decided to, uh, as usual, when I'm tired, I just you know, lie down on, my, on, on the lounge carpet. Uh, and I think I just took off my tie and just you know, laid, uh, laid on the carpet there. Yeah. And then suddenly I received a phone call. It was from the university. The minister wants to see you. And uh, it so happened that my house was in uh, Bukit Bandaraya. And uh, the ministry was only in Mazara, in Kamansara, Pusat Kamansara. Only about five minutes away from the house. So it was no problem. I drove there. I woke up uh, looking for where the minister is. It so happened that they were pointing me that over there, over there. And when I uh, reached the uh, the so-called place. I was surprised as a whole of the uh, Ministry of Education that the Minister was chairing the meeting and the senior, the name of the Ministry was there. So I sat down as a chair next to the, to the Minister, I sat down and there were pleasantries and how are you and your family and so on. So I look around and I said, what have I done wrong? <laughs> <laughs> it was in my mind. And uh, it was very short actually, the Minister said, sir. Either you stay, you stay in UKM or you start the university. That was it, actually. And, uh, and uh, they didn't give me much time, actually, to answer. And within the, about five minutes, you know, in my mind, I was thinking, what, what, what should I decide? And I decided, yes, I said, I'll take it up. So that was the, in September, and I was appointed uh, in uh, October of 1992. And I promised the minister then, because I saw him uh, the Monday after, the Mon following Monday, I had a chat with him, and he said, uh, I promised for some stupid reason, I promised I'll deliver the university in, in, by 1st of January or 2nd January, I'll give him the report. It took me three months, you know, with three months I was thinking, I eat, I sleep, I dream about this university. But that was interesting actually, because to my mind actually, what? all the time I was thinking what would be this what would this new university be and perhaps although the semua sini dah mantan mungkin tak ada chance lagi dah nak menubuh sebuah universiti baru tapi tak kira ya apa-apa ni Tan Sri Yusuf Nur eh ada lagi chance dia untuk buat universiti baru saya tengok kata-kata mungkin tak ada chance lah dah 6 series 7 series ni mungkin lah sekarang sikit ya Waktu itu, I was given a, a, a blank piece of paper to start the university. It was quite an opportunity. 
You were the eight university, and the previous university you had was 20 year gap actually between the UN and the university in my university in Mississippi. By the way, I had to. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry the university is not just stuck with the name University of Malaysia, Tengganu, University of Malaysia, and so on. They wanted me to have it as University of Sarawak, Malaysia. I didn't like it. I said it will become very parochial because you will always be referred to as University of Sarawak and become parochial. And I said, can you twist it around University of Malaysia, Sarawak? But in my mind, I wanted the acronym, Unimai. And so now you all got stuck with the University of Malaysia, Tengganu, University of Malaysia, Sarawak, and so on. So my <laughs> and the, the interesting thing was this actually, we had designed a logo. I wanted the university to represent the green movement, the, uh, the, uh, which is blue. Uh, uh, sorry, green, it's a green, uh, technology is blue. So we went up with the uh, logo, color was blue and green. The PM Mahave don't like it. The name is Jaoni Pass. The one we <laughs> so he changed the color to green, to, to red. And so that's why most universities now, actually, your color is always red. Never any other color. But I, I regret the sense. I think green and blue would be very nice. <coughs> now, the question was in my mind always, you know, when, when trying to start this university was, firstly, I think the university must have a very strong vision and mission in order to... Um, in order to um, motivate, in order to inspire people to, to come to university and also to stay on and be with, be with uh, the new university. It took us a long time actually to think of what would be this mission and vision. It was also not just statement but also the process. I, uh, during the first three years, I take about uh, 20, 30 people down to the Damai uh, resort they spend uh, one weekend with me to, to argue and to whatever uh, uh, in order that I can uh, uh, communicate the, the new vision of the university. The, um, the other thing, of course, I had to think in terms of a, a long-term view of the university. The university cannot be just simply, uh, you know, uh, do it and then that's it, but I think you have to think in terms of a long-term view and, uh, you know, what the future holds and so on. and, and, and it was always a dream uh, of mine that uh, the university, the new university, uh, would exist uh, both in the real and the virtual world. And we're working towards that actually in terms of bringing technology and using technology to create university uh, in the virtual world. I always think that you know uh, you can use avatar you know, as a personal, uh, uh, what we call it, extension of you, and, and you go to university, you register, and 